shooting for six, but there is a lot of talent standing in her way. Her compatriot, Jana Sikaridza, and the Malaysians, certainly, Duratin, Nakin Bitti Rosli, and Lim Wen Chen, the Australians, Nazmi Johnston, and Kimberly Mason, and the extraordinarily uh, talented young Cypriot, Raisa Panagiotou. But we start competition with uh, the rope final, and our first competitor is Jana Sikaridza of Canada. with a big throw at the beginning of her routine. Having a little bit of difficulties with her handling. Beautiful, two butterflies in a row. The rope is all about leaps and jumps. That's the emphasis. Combined with big throws like the one you've just seen. Three illusion turns. That's very difficult to combine three in a row. revolutions in that pirouette. It's one of the hardest pirouettes you can perform. The buzzer letting her know she's got 10 seconds to complete her routine. Good catch at the end. From Montreal, 18-year-old Jana Sikaridza. That was a fantastic routine. She really has put down, I'd say, a very good score for the, all the rest of the girls to beat. Qualifying score for Sikaridza for this apparatus was 12.6. She was the third highest qualifier. There's those three illusion turns in a row. While she's doing them, she just keeps the rope moving. The gymnast must make sure that the rope or the apparatus is moving at all times. And there's that great catch around her leg. So we wait a score for Yanchik, as she's known. All smiles. She'll need 13 plus to be in medal contention here. Because the top two qualifiers, Orlando and Malaysia's uh, Nashim Dithirosli, uh, scored over 13 in qualifying, and it's a pretty sure bet they'll do so again. The judging panel, hard at work, doing their sums as we await the appearance of our second competitor. And it'll be Australia's Nazmi Johnston next up. A happy wave to. Uh, her team and Canadian supporters in the crowd. Huffing, panting after an arduous but a spectacular routine with the rope. Nazmi Johnston standing by, waiting anxiously for, uh, for her turn. Well, 12.5. The judges are tough today.